coming to you live from the It's Funny Studios. I'm Doug. I'm Greg. And this is Mike. And this is the It's Funny That Makes It Okay podcast. Hey, welcome everybody. Here we are, middle of September. It's flying by. Pushing right into fall now. Flying we're, we're into by. It. We've it had is. some cool evenings. I like it. Yeah. Temperatures have dropped down some. Not quite as humid, which is always nice. Yep. Until the end of the week when it goes back. Until fine. the end of the week. <laughs> yeah. That is right. I think we had a harvest moon that was really nice. Was, yes. Yes. I love the harvest moon. I suppose the whole United States had the harvest moon. No, just I, us. <laughs> it was just central Illinois. <laughs> We've got our own moon. <laughs> We're special that way. So... I think what we'll do, let me give a quick rundown. Uh, I think, Greg, you got a couple things. Yeah. I have a few things. I got back thoughts. from some vacation, some thoughts on that. I uh, got a couple questions that I found that we're going to, we're going to discuss. We're going to talk about some bathroom products. Some things have been brought to our attention. Something sent to us. Your brother sent us a, a bathroom product, a link to it. He did. He did. Oh, I don't think I knew that. You were on the text and you replied to it. I did. You did. How long ago? Like last week. Sorry, everybody. This is should have been hammered out before the <laughs> podcast started. But I think we're gonna have to re-record this part. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got a segment called "Unique Words for Common Things." So I found some things. I'm gonna ask you two these words and see if you can de- decipher what they are. Okay. Um, also, right off the top, we're gonna give a, a shout out to the Greener Grass Podcast. They included us or asked us to submit a question to them for one of their podcasts we did and they gave us a shout out and we we appreciate that so we'd like yes. to say thank you to the greener grass podcast thank you greener grass thank you Woo. <laughs> and a big salute oh yes. that's that's a hee-haw oh, reference yeah, that's no. boy that's in case you know, a timely timely reference for you young kids <laughs> Like, I like, got it. I, I, yeah. no. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't, you know, remade Hee Haw for the current, you know, well, the millennials. Well, I think a lot of the content on that show, you probably can't. Uh, I don't. Yeah, probably can't. <laughs> you can't. Oh, you couldn't have the Hee Haw. You couldn't have the Hee Haw honeys anymore. No, <laughs> it would be made for today's audience. Yeah, you're right. It would be horrible. And we be won't even go into sliced and diced. <laughs> yeah. My grandpa loves that show, though. So I, it, we watched seen, it as kids. I have seen a number of episodes. Of it. I've seen we many, many it episodes of it. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I didn't mean to, to get us off on a whole hee haw tangent. <laughs> I did not expect this. Hey, to go this that is way. cutting edge podcast. It is. It is cutting hee-haw. edge. And the greener grass is immediately wishing. I wish they would not have mentioned our names <laughs> yes. in this podcast. Can you please cut that? <laughs> yes, please. Please do not do not uh, promote us ever again. <laughs> All right, just kidding. All right, let's 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 start us off, Greg. What, All what right. you got? Well, I'm going to send you three pictures here. So this isn't really... All right, everybody get ready. This isn't really a gripe. Well, you guys. I, oh. This isn't really mind. a gripe. It's more just like observational, but it mostly has to do with McDonald's. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so, are you sure we're not in gripe territory? I think this is... I think this is gripe territory. You think it's gripe? Yeah. Okay, well, okay. Take we'll a look. let the listeners like, decide. Here comes the picture. Gripe or observational? All right, I just, I just sent Doug and Mike... Three pictures. It'll take just a second for them to download. So we've seen the orange cone at the drive-throughs, right? Yeah, to I keep the orange cone to keep one lane closed while yeah. the others go. Well, I don't know if somebody stole traffic their cone. control. Yeah, I don't know if somebody stole their cones or what's going on. But what? Why can't we just make a sign that says "lane closed" or something? Did you get the pictures yet? I- <laughs> Greg, you're making too much sense. Is this on the same the same day or are these no, different days? No, these are days? different days. Two different days. <laughs> because so, we know Greg's a glutton for punishment. The, like the first one, the first one is McDonald's, and he can't believe he gets poor service every single day. <laughs> I cannot believe this. So the first one, you know, they no longer have the orange cone blocking the drive-through lane. They now have a trash can, so oh. they put one of their big. I think it's appropriate for where I think it's a forbearance of what's going to come. Here it is. <laughs> this is the if you service continue, you're going to get. So I don't, and, and literally the second picture was the next day. Well, that, that is the worst one. And now, now we have a pallet laying out in the <laughs> drive through pallet, which if you're not paying attention, somebody could just run over that. Yeah. You just drive right over it. See, so. that is poor traffic control to me. You don't see pallets used as traffic control much. I've, <laughs> Like we're going to redo this road. Hey, throw some pallets down. Get them cars so they don't come crashing in here. That one, yeah, that one cracked me up when I saw the pallet. Because it's just laying down flat. That's the dumbest thing in the world. Why would you put that? Why? What happened to the trash can? Now, now I want to know 
<laughs> yeah, first, what happened to it's it? It's the orange cone. Then the trash can is gone. <laughs> Well, I love too the pallet's like halfway in the lane. Yeah. So you you by this point before you would see the pallet, you've already committed halfway to the lane. <laughs> oh no, but you got to back the up. Why is <laughs> closed? I don't even. I don't understand. You got two two drive through <laughs> lanes at a lot of McDonald's now, and I've seen it at Burger King too, where they will block off one lane with what was an orange cone. Now they've undoubtedly been stolen or something, and now we're using trash cans and pallets. <laughs> the orange cones are probably inside blocking off other aspects of the restaurant. There's an orange cone Tables. shortage. Yeah. Yeah. The, the register. One, one register. <laughs> you can't go to this register. You got to go over here. The kiosk. Yeah. We've run out of orange cones. Grab a garbage can. We're out of those. Get a pallet. I'm going to do all the thinking. What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> yeah. So two days in a row, we went from trash can to pallet. Well, then the third one. This is interesting. You sent me this one. I'm looking at this. This is going to play into one of the questions I found f- to ask. So that's I, I had no idea. Yeah, this one is at Casey's. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> they they have three parking lots blocked off. Parking two, spots. Two with a shot. Two with shopping carts, and one with a like a wheelbarrow cart, like, yeah, the, looks like a yard yeah. cart. It looks like if some you'd put your yard, um, like. Leaves, leaves and grass and, and stuff. Now, yeah. in fairness, we don't know. Maybe somebody drove their their grocery carts to Casey's. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I mean, with gas prices, you can't charge your electric car. Maybe we're all going to be driving grocery carts. Well, that's true. <laughs> okay, couple things though. First off, if that's the case, they did a very nice parking job. With they them. did. They're, they're mean, spaced they're, evenly. They're squared I up like in that. the parking spot. I do like that. But Casey's doesn't have shopping that carts. Was a yeah. good, that, I was thinking the same thing. That <laughs> so, was my number one question. I, I can't well. even figure out. Well, if they did, they'd be inside then. See, these are people's personal shopping carts, Greg. These are the commuters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I zoom in on the end of the cart, there's a sign on it, but I can't read what it Yeah, I can't read what it either. says. It won't let me now, zoom in enough. what I really think these are probably for is it looks like the dumpsters are behind them. So I'm thinking maybe they're blocking those for the garbage truck. But again, I think the bigger question is, where and why are we using shopping carts? And a Casey's? lawn refuse cart. Yeah, at a Casey's. <laughs> there really must be an orange cone shortage. Maybe if that's Casey's it. is going with the carts? You know, we've got supply chain issues. Maybe I the think or- that's the case. The orange cones <laughs> are in short demand. Short I think supply. so. Well, McDonald's has used up 90% of them probably. Yeah. <laughs> around They've the country. They've the market on the orange cones. <laughs> Well, if they have trouble getting orange cones now, it's, I know there's it's some, over. Everybody. Yeah, I know there's some track and field coaches going, I need orange cones for our events. I right, go grab the trash can. Can't help you. <laughs> yeah. You're down to pallets or shopping carts. <laughs> it's going to be a really interesting track and field events. I gotta it say. is. Yeah, the, the pallet. You know the hurdles over the cart. <laughs> the pallet was my favorite. It'll train you for grocery shopping in the future. Maybe maybe the grocery carts are going to be used for like the uh, the relays instead of the baton. They got to hand off the card. <laughs> the homeless Olympics. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying about the the? Uh, did you say the pallet? We I jumped back. No, in I just said the pallet was my favorite. That one. is that is a That's, good one. It's like yeah. okay, let's just throw anything out there. Um, Okay. You just unload the truck and just take a pallet off, and you <laughs> yeah. know what? Just throw, throw him the out there. We don't want that open anyway. Lane one, no, put that. There. Yeah, lane one. There you go. Yeah, block that off. Next so they'll, they'll make a a pyramid of like empty <laughs> cans or <laughs> cups, McDonald's cups stacked up there. <laughs> oh, so so the other thing I have is um, it's just it's more kind of an observation. You get. When you've gone out different places, restaurants and things like that, you get different types of like waitresses, waiters and help and things like that. Cause I'm just Usually all bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> just kidding for any waiters or waitresses. You, obviously, if you listen to this podcast, you're not a bad waiter or waitress. Yeah. Cause like at that particular McDonald's, and I got, I'm going to compare two things at this particular McDonald's. There's been primarily one gal who is the one with that's running the speaker and taking your orders. She cars could wrap around that building and she will not speed up. It's going to be slow. I don't care what the line is like. Do you want she, it done fast or do you want it done right? Well, maybe that's it. 
<laughs> because but you might not get it either way with that. You might get it slow and wrong though with McDonald. <laughs> yeah, because she's nice. It's not. I'm not complaining about her personality or anything. But man, she is slow. And she's the one that I think I maybe gave the extra change to one day, and it blew her mind that she couldn't give me the right change anymore. Now, see, would you rather have a nice <laughs> McDonald's employee and slow, or some surly McDonald's employee, but quick, and you get the right food? Well, that's what it kind of leads me to. Oh, sorry. Is we went, no, it's good. Lori and I went to Denny's. Um, Home of the Grand Slam. Yeah, we just wanted some dessert. Um after we went out and fired off a few rounds of guns the other night, we felt like some dessert. <laughs> Did you buy the redneck package yeah. for a vacation or what <laughs> happened? I won't go into the whole gun shooting thing. We were just doing a little practicing. It was backstage at Yeehaw. It's Friday night, honey. Got a big night planned for us. We're going to shoot guns and then go to Diddy's and get some dessert. That's right. Maybe if you're lucky, we'll go to McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> That's <too>. right. <laughs> that was for supper. No. Oh, yeah. This was just dessert. <clears throat> so so anyways we we go to Denny's and they're busy. I can't remember the last time I've been to a Denny's. You don't really want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not on my to-do list. Most but. people that go to Denny's can't remember when they were there. That's the reason they're there. They're usually there after a long yeah, night. It's a early night, in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> they get home and they're like, "What happened? Where did I did I eat something? I feel <laughs> nauseous." Oh, I got a Denny's receipt in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so we we went to Denny's and the, they had the one gal was kind of the hostess slash waitress for the front part of the restaurant. We, she got us our seats. We sat there for quite a while. And then this other woman was our waiter. <laughs> and she was moving at 900 miles an hour, but she would not let you finish a sentence before she's moving on to the next table. She's like, um, what would you like? And I'm like, um, Lori goes, I'll take this caramel, I forget what it was, a caramel sundae of some sort. And I said, I'll have, and it's so funny because I, I told Lori, I said, you know, apple crisp sounds really good. I think I'm going to get that if, um, and I, I joked, I said, if they have it. <laughs> and I don't even know why I said that, but then she comes up and I said, yeah, I'd like the apple crisp. Oh, we don't have the apple crisp. <laughs> I looked at Lori and I said, of course. And then she goes, yeah, our stove's not working. It's a restaurant. <laughs> what am I? Okay. What do you have that you don't have to cook? I guess. What's that? What does that limit us to? <clears throat> the microwave. Lo- whatever oh. Lori got. Uh, the microwave. She heated. Yeah. So Lori got the, oh yeah, she got the ice cream with a cookie underneath it, which must have been a microwave cookie with heated caramel syrup. It's not made for scratch at Diddy's. That is blows my mind. No, it was not from scratch. Oh. But the, the thing is, is, she, she was, she seemed a little, I don't know if she was just because she was so busy, but I could, I barely got, cause Lori goes, I would like a, a, um, coffee, eh, and she didn't get eh out, and the girl was gone. <laughs> cause Lori's gonna say, and water. <laughs> and she didn't get the water part out, and, and then every time for the rest of the evening, it's just like, pop, 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 I mean, super fast, and, would not let you finish a sentence. I don't know. I don't know if you encountered these different. So you got the, on the McDonald's side, you got the tortoise. <laughs> and over here, we've got the hare. <laughs> Which service would you like better? Well, how, how was your service? Did you, I mean, outside of getting, you know, not getting what you wanted. <laughs> because the stove didn't work at the restaurant. Outside, like how was, was the one that was fast at Denny's? Was it? She she ended I mean, up, was, you know, she ended besides up that, being, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play though? Was it good? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm this, like, it ended up fine. It ended up fine. Okay, I, but, I'm trying to gauge the experience level. The it was stressful though because she was so hyper. I mean, it's like and and like I said, wouldn't let so it us, took away from the ambiance. And you're a big ambiance. I'm an guy. ambiance. All the Denny Denny's the ambiance is. You got to bring your own ambiance. Well, at that at that particular, I don't understand it either. We've gone there. I mean, a handful of times over the years. Anniversaries. I mean, <laughs> yes, birthdays. Day nights, you know, know, stuff like that. <laughs> no, but it's, we've, over the years, we've gone there a few, after a movie or something, we might buzz down there, get dessert or something. When you walk in the entryway of that particular Denny's, it smells like B.O. And you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, me and McDonald's. I mean, but it's but fine. smell like B.O. is that, that right there. If I go in once, I, <laughs> I, I think I'm out on this one. Well, you've been to that Denny's, haven't you? I don't know. Which one is it? Down in North Pekin. 
I think I've been there once. I once you get in the restaurants, fine, but that entry entryway has this distinct odor. That well, like, that right there would be enough to stop me. The entrance, it's like, <laughs> oh no, I'm a glutton. <laughs> outside of the entrance, I mean, it's horrible. But I'll be once you get if you can get past that, if you can break through the smell, yeah, you'll be. It's okay. Like, well, what? It's not even good. It's just okay. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I just it just made me think about the two different types of service i get you know i get many more types fast of service. and bad or slow and bad <laughs> <laughs> in that case i think give me fast and bad it'll get me out of there quick it just depends true on, on how quickly you want your disappointment <laughs> yes. do you want it now or do you want it a little bit from now yeah sometimes it's nice to wait for your disappointment <laughs> I, and mike i think what well, you sometimes were sometimes it builds you yes. know <laughs> yeah and what i think what maybe you were trying to get with is like was she at least correct when you were asking That's that what, what you were going? Okay, yeah. yes. Like if your overall experience was, I mean, like I said, outside of not get, getting what you wanted, but if your end result was okay or decent, but, you know, she would cut you off and leave as opposed to taking forever at McDonald's. Like yeah. that's, that's what I was trying to gauge. Amazingly, she got our food right. Considering we didn't even think she heard us when we were ordering because she was like, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> it's like... Did, see, did did she get our order? <laughs> see, if that's the case, then, like, if I'm at an establishment like Denny's, that's fine with me. I'd rather take the fast and uncourteous person. Yeah, I mean, because she, she came if over. my food is going to be mostly correct. She know, came that, over I'll with, like, a that. tray of sodas and started to sit them on our table. And we're, like, looking at it, like, and then she goes, oh, this isn't yours. Pew, and took off with the sodas. It's like, she was so scrambled. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, there's, there's two of down? us and you've got a tray of sodas. Yeah, <laughs> we're not that thirsty. No, no. <laughs> I noticed no water, but still the tray of soda. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she did. She did not bring Lori's creamer for her coffee. She brought it back. So see, she was having to make extra trips because she's so unorganized because she's going so fast. So then, was like, your McDonald's slow down. right, or was it? Incorrect? Well, that's just the gal that's taking the order. <laughs> so that, yeah, that part was right. She's the same same one that said, um, you know, we're out of muffins, but I can sub a biscuit for you. <laughs> now, somebody did, re- they they sent us a message and said, the reason they do that is because the egg on the muffin and the egg on the biscuit are different. I guess there's like a folded egg or the white egg. You're the you're the <laughs> McDonald's expert. I'm just well, telling you what I was told. I am not aware of that. Yes. They said, they said, if you get like the English muffin, it's like the round white egg where the biscuit has like a folded it's all yellow almost like a scram or like a omelet type where it's folded over it's all yellow well i guess i now. guess i'm lucky she didn't take the time to explain that to her, for it to me because i would have been there for an hour and a half Greg's mind yeah well yeah eggs are different, they're different, they're different on the sandwich yeah that's so i guess like the 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 english muffin mcmuffin has the a round Kind of white and yellow egg. Like it's supposed to be like a fried egg. I did not even notice whether my biscuit had the white round one or the yellow square. We're still griping about square. the biscuit and looking to see if he was charged for the cheese. Yeah, I'm taking in, in the case of your question, I'm taking the one that's faster because Fast. I hate sitting in a restaurant just waiting for a check or for somebody to acknowledge I'm even there. Or, or a line of cars that you're waiting to to go and yeah. she's like just like i said that line could go around the building and it would go no faster i think it's like what doug said i just kind of want to i don't want to sit here all day yeah and meanwhile there's a pallet laying in the next lane <laughs> i mean it's a no-win scenario yeah but I, mean. like, but I keep going you do keep going <laughs> well it gives me things to talk about i guess so all right well i think that's all i got on my observations today all right so it really wasn't a huge gripe it was just I got a few. Sure. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I said, I just got a few things. Uh, I was just on some vacation, doing some traveling, came back. And I just was. Yes, that would be a vacation. Yes, it would. <laughs> Not with either of you guys. I just no, went we with didn't, my wife. We weren't with him. We, we, weren't, we weren't all together. <laughs> but I was thinking, one of the things that I passed on, because we drove we and we're driving, we went down to Florida. And as we're driving along with the technology and the internet and it has some really good things i do i know we gripe about technology there are some things like like when you're driving and you're like well where am i going to be in four hours let's say i want to drive four more hours with well, around nine o'clock 
f- trying to find a a city and then you know hit, go to Priceline do last minute deal and it shows you you know three hotels for whatever and 39 you pick one, 95 a and, night well I, no <laughs> those hotels were the cheap ones they had the- were 76 and that was like the uh Hotel five. It wasn't even a six. It was a hotel. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to be a six, yeah. but we can't get there. We can't get the six, but no. But so that's nice. You know, I like the GPS. That's nice. Yeah. But one thing I passed. Streaming music in the car yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Listen to podcasts, all that stuff. But the one thing I was, I'd see advertisements for billboards. And I don't know, Mike, if you ever, and kind of, you might be too young. Maybe you didn't because they're still out there. But the travel centers that you would see when you go into Alabama or Georgia or Florida, you know, it'd say, stop. Oh, you'd start seeing billboards, you know, <laughs> 24 miles of Florida travel center. Stop and see live alligators, a 14 yeah. foot alligator. Get and your orange shirts. Yeah. <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, they, they, you know, get your you know, free jar of jelly or whatever they're, they're giving away. And we'd always want to stop. My dad's like, I am not Illinois. Stopping. You come in, you got, you owe them <laughs> yeah. at the travel center the bill. <laughs> Drop some cash off. Come on in. People are like, what? Are you, Get used you, to it. You come to Illinois? <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised we don't got have family a, here, a right? one-way <laughs> street out. <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah, you only a, have family one way. here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one way. You can leave. That's right. That's a toll to leave. You've come in for free. You're paying to leave. But no, the the travel centers yeah, were always yeah, something yeah, that the you, I'd see or yeah. you know, they'd have... Stop in and get your Disney discounted tickets or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's, it's mostly scams. It, right. The the fourteen foot alligator stopping. It's just a cement <laughs> alligator. It's like this is a replica of the largest alligator caught in northern Florida. It's like, well, this is you, you can't not say real. you have a fourteen foot alligator because it's a statue of an alligator. It's yeah. not a real alligator. Like, oh, look at the baby alligators and all the billboards. The little babies are they're like cute little cartoons with a. With diapers and one's got a pink bow and one's got like a blue cap. Like, oh, look. And he sounds like, eh, eh. and they're just little, little reptiles. Like, well, that's not, that doesn't it's look a like lizard. a billboard. <laughs> yeah. So there was that. And then the other thing, and this might, might tie into you because you're a map guy. That's, that's kind of what you do. Mm-hmm. We went to this, uh, little island there that they have and, it's it's called Lover's Key State Park. You go in there, and it's got a bunch of little islands with water, you know, inlets and things, and trails, and uh, a beach. And we're not big trail people. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm out of shape, but like we'll walk the trail. Well, this time they had we thought, well, let's rent the bike. We've always wanted to rent the bike, so we'll rent the bike. And they have the trail, and it's it's in the. I mean, was it individual bikes or a tandem? Oh no, it's individual. Oh, if love, it was tandem, tandem I'm would be awesome to watch. I'm pedaling two people. It's like I can't pedal one person. So, Michelle wants to go this way. You're wanting to go this way. I thought backseat driving in a car was bad enough. I don't want that. Where's that Nervine at? No. So we each, we we each rented a bicycle this time. Like, let's go for a bike ride. We took off, and it was like just a, it was a two and a half mile. Right. Yeah. Or uh, one trail. Way. One way. So you yeah. loop around and all that. And there's like a, a butterfly park and, and there they said, you know, a lot of flowers and stuff. And there's a pond. They said, Oh, there's an alligator in here and there's manatee and different things that you can see. Now it was so grown up. I mean, the trail was pretty narrow and it's just trees. So you can't really see much, which freaks me out that there could be a potential alligator within <laughs> eh, a couple well, of feet of me. And you're where there's parts of the path where you're riding and I mean, you're like less than a foot from. The the waterway is right there, and they have all the mangroves growing right up in there. So we're driving through, and um, it was nice and sunny. It's hot. I mean, it was hot. And of course, you get into the the forest. There's no, you know, you'll you'll get breaks, and the sun's breaking through, but there's not a there's lot of no breeze. breeze. <laughs> and and they gave us a paper map, so I've got this map, and the map is it, it's it's an outline of the island, and it shows the trail, and there's little icons every so often that show like a. A I can picnic already table or a bench, <laughs> yeah. okay, and that's it. A what? And then I have like a a bench. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a bench. I just didn't know what I didn't hear what you said. I'm so saying a bench. I wasn't. <laughs> what are those little benches over there? That's right. <laughs> and then you know, it'll them. have like a like a bicycle on it. Like, okay, I get it. So we're we're riding for a while, and it's we went one direction. We're going to go all the way down this trail and it curved around, but we turned and kind of came back and then there was a fork and we split and then there was like another little fork. So we split. So I kind of 
I wasn't paying that close attention right at first. And I got kind of thrown off where I was because I'm like, wow, did we take two forks or one <laughs> fork? And I couldn't figure out like, okay. He's just going in a circle. I don't know. Well, <laughs> it, it, eventually it takes you back around the park. I mean, if you just keep going, it's fine. Okay. So we get a, we're riding and it's, like I said, it's hot. So we get about halfway. We're almost there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> almost to the halfway point. So about a mile, mile and a quarter in. And the sun's still shining, but I start hearing this rumbling like, like, oh, it's, it had been raining off and on, but it was a nice sunny day when we got there. It's like, that is not, that's not a good sound. And my <laughs> wife's like, uh, was that thunder? I said, yep. <laughs> so like, well, where, how far are we? I was like, I don't know. So I stopped. Tell and get her, I the think map there's a out. hurricane moving in. I stop. I get the map out and I'm looking. She goes, well, where are we on the map? You got the map. Where? I said, this isn't GPS. I don't have like a, a little smiley face icon that's popping up. Oh, there I am. I don't know. It's a piece of paper. A bicycle that's moving. All we have is just yeah. trees. I've got no point of reference in here at all. So we keep bicycling. I get to a little bench again. There's multiple benches throughout, you know, stop. They're not numbered. I can't like, well, I don't know. It could be any one of these. I am not sure. I said, we just got to press on. So we just, we, we kept going and it got darker and then it started popping that light and we're like, Oh jeez, this is not going to be good. We're going to be killed. We got it. Finally got back to the parking lot, pulled the bike up and parked it. It started to drizzle. We just got under the, the canopy and it just, I mean, it opened up and it downpoured. But and my wife's like, you've got the map. I'm like, it's not helping. It's not <laughs> all it shows is a general outline of yeah. the trail. <laughs> There's not any kind of I'm gonna real guess, points to mark out where I'm at. Without having seen the map, the icons are in black and white and they're all uh, cubicle yep. icons. Oh yeah. Yeah. The the map we had was in black and white as well. Yeah. This one is I have on my phone. It's color, but they're little, just little squares, and they would just yep. boop, 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 boop. here's a oh here's a bench here's a bench. Yeah. They're not marked. Don't know at which all. bench, but it's a no. bench. All of those reference maps to the parks and whatnot across the entire country are all the same. <laughs> they're all the same. They're not helpful very no. much. I mean, the, a little bit because we came to a point that said shortcut number one. I found that. I'm like, okay, I kind of that that's somewhat helpful. I kind of know that I'm here. But yeah. I wasn't sure if I was on which side of the shortcut. I mean, I, like, okay, <laughs> the long side. <laughs> let's go. And it didn't say a shortcut to where necessarily either. So she's like, well, let's take, I said, I don't know. Cause there was a pond too that you could ride back to where they said there was an alligator. I'm like, that could be a shortcut back to the, cause there were trails back to it. It didn't say what it was. It said shortcut. <laughs> shortcut like i said nope we're just gonna keep pedaling around i know we're Press gonna eventually luck. get to where we're at yeah i don't want to you know i don't want to ride extra and then have to double back <laughs> so and the last thing i was going to talk about is the manatee we we saw a lot of manatees which we don't normally see but a lot the of but manatee. they're and they're kind of cool they most of the time they just pop their heads up and, psh, and then they get a breath and they go back down or you'll see them kind of arching their back but we went to a park and saw some more and then we saw some they're splashing all around and this older couple there and i was like wow that's they're really active they yeah they said, the older couple Florida. was active no oh they were watching too <laughs> i said yeah they're very active she goes well it's mating season i'm like oh well that explains a whole lot that dude because they were like popping up out of the water like that's a, what i want to watch <laughs> that's what i said manatee porn <laughs> i thought we were just gonna have wow, a nice a, wow, wow. <laughs> a nice ride in the park and then, you know, no, instead I got that shoved into my face. But <laughs> we have, we saw the manatees, but that also, I was doing a little reading about manatees <laughs> and just, you know, when they came over, they were discovered. But uh, this is from the Smithsonian because we were, you know, my wife and I was like, well, how long do they live and do they sleep and what do they eat? And so we're just looking this People. stuff up. <laughs> it said right off the bat, the Smithsonian Centuries ago, manatees were mistaken for mermaids, half women, half fish creatures of myth and legend. The confusion may seem absurd now. Back then, the little known sea beast that lived in the ocean was thought to be some kind of mythical creature. That'd be some ugly mermaids. I, that is my, I said, I told my wife, I said, if I looked at that, I don't, I don't care if it had been eight months without seeing a woman. I'm like, did you see? That? It's a beautiful woman in the water. Like, where, Charlie? Like, that's just a, some a kind of ugly sea creature. No, sea. it's a beautiful woman. It's a sea cow. It's, <laughs> it's half woman, half fish. Like, no, no, it's not, Charlie. You're, you're good. Even if you put like a wig and a little, 
seashell bikini top on it. It's still not gonna look Lipstick. like, it's not gonna look like an ugly woman. <laughs> Let alone a beautiful woman. I'm like, alright, Charlie, give me the rum. Yeah, Why don't you, you go down much. underneath the, and lay down, get out of the sun for a little while. I think you've been, <laughs> I think you've been up top too long. <laughs> Like how how quote unquote lonely do you have to be to start fantasizing about the 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 manatee? And it better not be mating season. You might get a little more than you bargained for with that. <laughs> but no, that that was all I had. I like, how can they confuse this for like a a, a a mermaid? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful woman in the water. <laughs> like, well. I mean, I can understand like a you know, a, some kind of serpent, a sea serpent, or some kind of mythical creature. Like, what is that? But it wouldn't be... Some guy on the boat looking at Manatee Magazine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's like, Charlie, what are you doing? It's half, it's half human. It is not I'm reading half the human. article. Get out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> Manatee Weekly. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, that was, that was the end of my, my travel weirdness stories. So... Well, fun. I travel next week, so hopefully I'll have some yeah. travel stories uh, hopefully. after that. Yeah, well, or like maybe it. not. Maybe I don't want travel stories. Because <laughs> it can be bad. You're going to the Redneck Riviera. I'm going to go to every McDonald's <laughs> in the South. I was about to say, Doug, I think we need to go over under on how many McDonald's <laughs> drink stops out of the way Ooh. on the trip. <laughs> yeah, well, let's put it at, what, are you going to be on a week? Give or take? Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. We don't do. We're, it's weirdly probably because Lori. <laughs> we don't do a ton of McDonald's while we travel. Well, I'm gonna count. I mean, even for like a Maybe coffee a drink or a or, drink, yeah. that is gonna count as a coffee. That's see, Lori's count. a little more snobby with her coffees now. She doesn't like the McDonald's ones as well. But when you're but traveling, sometimes drink. it's hard to find. Yeah, you got to find something. I'm gonna put the over under it. You're gonna be gone a week. Yeah, and and a day. I think a week and a day. So eight days. Uh, I'll put the over under, what are you thinking? I'm thinking seven and a half. <laughs> okay. That's I was I, thinking about six. I, so. Well, he's going to be gone that long. Yeah. It's good. That would be a, about, you know, and that's from the, a stop the, a day. when you leave here till you pull back into the driveway. So yeah. seven and a half. See, but now you know, so you could skew. We, no, me and Mike should have yeah. brought I'll this do, up. I won't even say anything to Lori about it, and we'll just do what our normal. Because you, you, a lot of times we will when we get because we're driving. If we're leaving early in the morning, we may stop get a sandwich on the way. So there's one right out of the gate. Now, full I mean, disclosure, we stopped at several McDonald's when you're, for the same reason. They're right well, off the interstate. Do, I stop and get a drink. Yeah, we we'll stop at a. I usually I don't Mc, even get something to eat. Usually, I just get like yeah. a tea and just go. I so might collect. Go I might collect too. some orange cones to bring back to these Peoria. <laughs> you ones. might need to. You might need to. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think unless you got something else. No, that's all, all right. I had. That was a good one. Well, yeah, you have to let. Yeah. We'll have to have the listeners uh, tune back in in a couple. No, you weeks have to remember that I to mean, see. Well, oh, yeah, seven and a half McDonald's. Yeah. I'll write it down there. Seven and a half McDonald's, Mickey D's. <laughs> it's on the books. That's it. All right, I got a couple. What questions. are the Vegas odds? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to look that up. It shows up on FanDuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Place your bets. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All that right. would be fun if everybody, like, everyday life stuff was on there and you'd pick it. And <laughs> I, I would just constantly lose. I mean, all my stuff <laughs> would be too. like. There how, would be a bet for that. How many times will Doug lose on Facebook? Well, that's Duel? very, that's very good. Or, or how many, how many times will he get cut off in traffic and have road rage? How many times will McDonald's screw up Greg's order? It's like, these are all things that, yeah. Yeah. like, oh. It'll be kind of fun in a way. Would I would probably always take the over against me. It's like, oh, it's going to be terrible. Yeah, it's going to be horrible. How many sandwiches will they? At screw least up? then I might make some money off my misery. <laughs> All right, I had a couple of kind of icebreaker questions or something that something like that that I thought were kind of interesting. So I'll throw them out there. Uh, first one said, "How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? <laughs> one elephant, and you got these chickens. They don't have weapons." Let's well, say so you're trained these killer <clears throat> assassin. Chickens. So they're ninja chickens. They're they're regular chickens, but you've trained them to kill. I mean, they're not going to do karate, but they're going to jump like <laughs> peck and. Yeah, see, my that was first, my that was a question on I this saw one. On the internet. Do you guys remember the story about the uh, the? It was like the raged elephant who destroyed that one woman. Oh yeah, absolutely just, <clears throat> and then came back later. I think you're going to need a lot of chickens. I think here. so. Well, they just a couple weeks ago they had a one of the. 
I think it was in Thailand, he, a worker that was using elephant to do work. The elephant got mad and literally ripped him in half. I saw oh, that. Oh, my gosh. These elephants, man, you cannot. And then I just saw on Facebook, it was just in my homepage there, a reel of an elephant at some park somewhere over in Asia. I don't know where somebody put, but it they were just walking through wild elephants, and it just turned and took all of its wrath out on this little Subaru. I mean, it destroyed. <laughs> it was picking it up with its tusk and just destroyed it, stomping on it. It's like, it like, holy crap. What are you viewing on Facebook that you're getting elephant no vengeance? I have no idea. Probably stuff for this. I probably looked up that woman getting killed and then uh, having her, her corpse. Or maybe the elephants are just that angry. Yeah, I, I don't they know. Are. Well, we know they're teaming up with the monkeys that eventually they'll, they're going to work together. Yes, yeah, they are. I, I think you're going to have to – I'm going to have to go quite a few chickens here. I, I, mean, I Yeah. It's going to be more than like four. I think the over-under will be six and a half. No. <laughs> I had a number like 150 in my head. Maybe they're giant chickens. Well, ooh, that'd be fun. <laughs> they're no Costco chickens. Those are big chickens, big meaty chickens. They are. <clears throat> so let's even say they're that. You're are, still there, gonna are there them. roosters in there? Yeah, let's say uh, there's roosters. Well, a chicken. I know. Chicken uh, can be a rooster well, or a hen. Well, I know. but I'm, Let's say it's a mix. <laughs> mixture of rooster. Equal, well, yeah, equal them. amount. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to have to say, like, to take down an elephant. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to throw – I don't even know if this is going to be enough. I'm going to throw a 1,000 chickens at the elephant. Wow. What did you say? <clears throat> I said 150. No, I'm oh, thinking 150 for great. two really smart ones could do it. <laughs> okay, well, one, there, there one, aren't any smart chickens. Well, so one could, like, you know, go peck his eyes. Or they could go both peck his eyes out. Then he can't see. Then How they, are the chickens going to get up to peck the elephant's eyes out? They can't the, fly. Well, they can jump they pretty climb well. <laughs> They'll climb him. <laughs> They'll jump on top of a car. <laughs> Chickens Over to the need elephant. to be guided. They can't just like climb up the side of an elephant. Greg has got like special operation chickens, like the actual ninja chickens, SEAL Team Six chickens, Rambo chicken. Yeah, Ram- yeah, Rambo. He's got the the uh, makeup on and stuff. Yeah, so, a little, br- little beret. So Greg said 150. Yeah, Greg's I said 150. Got some tough chickens. You said a thousand. At least a thousand. That's like the minimum I'm putting down. How are they going to kill him? Sheer. I mean, it's going to have to be sheer numbers. But doing what? Shock and all. I mean, that's that's it. <laughs> it's shock and all. I mean, like you're going to have to go through waves of just chickens hitting the <laughs> elephant because the elephant just in a couple steps or whatever is going to trample most of them. <laughs> so you're going to have to inf- have enough chickens to inflict the legs of the elephant to bring him down so he can't move. By then that they can point, pick his eyes out. By that point, it's going to be just like yeah, you're going to have to go for the little little body shots. You know, it's like death by a thousand cuts with chickens. Because the elephant's going to be able to take out a lot of chickens initially before <laughs> elephants it goes have down. thick skin too. It's, yeah, gonna, it's hard to get through that elephant skin, especially <clears throat> the feet. So it's like that's do they, where do the they have a vulnerable have to, vulnerable spot? I would have to say I mean, the it's eyes be would like be one thing, but back of the legs, like to get yeah. the elephant down, or just to wear it out, and then it. But once you got him down, what, what, what? How are they going to kill him? Like I said, peck they're just going to gonna have to peck it. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to have num- the numbers to take the elephant down to out, out, you know, last that. And then you're going to have to have enough left that are going to be able to peck him once he's done. Do you think we'll have to come up skin? with a computer simulation of this? I think that's the only way we can solve Yeah, I need to see how many chickens to kill an elephant. You exclude the Rambo chickens. and Well, yeah, because I'm thinking, you know, 25, 30 chickens per leg. Oh, you're going to need way more than that. (laughs) See, yeah, because I think he would stomp on at least that many just right off the bat. If he would go in an arena, like make one pass, he's killing at least that many, if not double that. Oh, they scurry pretty fast. Well, they do, but I mean, (laughs) elephants, they can move pretty quick, too. I mean, elephants are fairly nimble themselves. I'm just picturing him standing there. He's, you know. Well, he's not going to just take the pecking. I mean, he's going to fight back. (laughs) Well, no, he's not just going to go down. They're going to trip him first. <laughs> Stick that little bitty scrawny leg out. It's going to fall down. No, well, no the Rambo just chickens a, have a group, wire. Oh, a group, they'll, they'll a run group. out trip. A trip wire. <laughs> trip, trip wire. <laughs> well, I I had wrote down, I wrote 3,500. Yeah, that's probably a better number. And more like, I'm thinking you, like, it's going to be ways, like, I'm sacrificing at least half of them right up there. They're just going to get stomped. <laughs> well, I know that going yeah, in. Yeah, you know at least, like, that many. I'm not are telling them the that. I'm way. saying you guys have a shot. <laughs> yes. Taking this you are the infant, you're the infantry. You're yeah. going to do it. <laughs> you are going to do it. 
So I'm like you. But you know what? Now, in all fairness, cockfights, those, those they yeah. are deadly. I mean, they, they kill. They, those roosters have those spurs. I mean, they're sharp. They're gonna have to get the elephant down. That's that's yeah. That's they the gotta thing. get him down first. And maybe with that many, like, there's gonna be so much chicken blood, he'll slip. And <laughs> once he goes down, he's gonna have a hard. <laughs> Elephants can't just jump right back yeah, up. Yeah. That's when he's good. That's <clears throat> when they're gonna attack. My chickens hired a couple of crows to go peck his <laughs> eyes out. <laughs> You can't have mercenary birds coming in and helping. It's got to be all chickens. Yeah, that's not fair. See, my my chickens are gonna. Your chickens gonna are be like a week. It's gonna be like remember the Alamo. They're gonna see their their fifteen hundred friends be destroyed, and now they've got a reason for revenge. They've got that revenge factor going. They've got to take the elephant out. Great, gonna have like uh, you know eagles and hawks and. You know, an Air Force come down on the elephant. <laughs> yep. Well, you know what? While we were sitting there, I thought, I wonder if anybody ever did. <laughs> Answer this. There's a website called Brainly. It's like a uh, an educational website where they ask <clears throat> different questions. It says, one of them, how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? And they did an experiment. They didn't do it an actual, but they, they went through all these scenarios. And you know how many they said it would be? No, twenty five hundred. You're real close. Two thousand two hundred and seven. Oh my! Right in between. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> seven. Yeah. Two thousand two hundred and seven. Not two thousand two hundred. Seven. It's seven, it's the seven, the seven those more. seven extra are really yeah. important. And not eight. That's just overkill at that point. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they even give a little explanation. It says first you have to consider the heaviness of the elephant. The African jungle elephant weighs thirteen thousand pounds, and your average chicken weighs two thousand <laughs> two pounds. So if you do the math correctly, you would European need 6,500 6, chickens to reach the weight of one elephant. Most chickens can easily kill an elephant. It says that most chickens can easily kill an elephant, but we need to know the smaller number. Ch- I don't understand how that's worded. It says keep in mind that more people die from uh, from chicken death than shark attack 164 <laughs> what the heck is that that doesn't make any sense either this might be yeah this might be a fake website or something my chickens might dump a few mice out too that you know the elephants scare the mice well then then yeah so you but that's you can't do that <laughs> my chickens are smart they're the hiring like they're grenades. hiring armies yeah they like throw grenades yeah, and mice. mice and pop out all right <laughs> Okay, well, moving on. That was that was question number one, and question two kind of ties in with your Casey's picture. All right, what's that one movie? Hold on, before we move on, what's that one movie? The animated uh, clay- Chicken Run. Yes, the claymation movie. <laughs> that's a great yeah. movie. That was good. I like that movie. So maybe that's what Greg. Maybe that's yeah. what you're making on. You know, like they're, they're tactical. You don't have they're- Mel Gibson chicken, so <laughs> freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Charging down the hill. <laughs> I picture him doing that. It's like where Greg's got his 150. Now watch. They go, ah, and the elephant just like, bap, bap, bap. they're done. <laughs> yeah. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The second one I have, it says, what do you do with, with your the shopping bar? cart? Yeah. Bar? What do you do with your shopping cart when you're done shopping? There's only one line. Well, uh, let's even throw this. Let, let's say okay, it's poor right, sorry, weather. Sorry. Let's say it's poor weather. Let's not, if it's beautiful weather, most people like, well, oh, put it in the cart corral. Let's say it's it's raining, horizontal rain. It's horrible. You get out there and get your stuff in the car. What are you doing with the cart? Still shopping you're, cart corral. You're still good putting it in the crowd. Okay. That's, That's the only answer in any scenario here. I am yeah. with you. There's nothing that irritates me more. I think that is the unraveling of society. When people quit putting <laughs> yes. the cart. That's the beginning. Because, like, I don't care about anybody else. With I'm done. Don't care. I'll push it right there. You know what else is irritating? Is they'll take it and they'll push it up on like the little cement island. Like, oh, that's going to stop it from rolling around. That's better. Just push it to the cart. Yeah. Anymore, they got carts every other aisle that you can find it. Or push it up to the the building. Yeah, if I'm close to the building, I'll take it to the building. But if I'm by anywhere near the cart corral, that's the direction I'm going to go. See, more and more, I think you have to put money in it like you do at Aldi's. And then you pick it back and get it. And more than a quarter. Yeah. Because people will let that quarter go. It's like, no, I want you to swipe your debit card if you don't replace it we're going to charge you 150 bucks <laughs> yeah that would your stop the cart running people around. stealing them too yeah it would it would that way casey's doesn't show up with shopping carts. that's right i will say on shopping carts real quick 
we went up to Chicago to go uh, visit a friend for their birthday. And while we were there, we had some time to kill because we were kind of anticipating some traffic. We didn't hit that. So we had a lot, a lot of time before wow. we had to go where we needed to go. So we were just driving around, uh, and we happened across one of those Amazon stores, like the brick-and-mortar Amazon store. Hmm. Huh. It's like, okay, well, we, we have to go in. So we went yeah. in, and, I mean, it's like they have an Amazon, like a shopping section, so you can get random products you can get on there. But the rest of it was like an actual grocery store. So they take all their stuff to the counter, and the clerk ordered it for them, and it would be at their house in two days. Yeah. <laughs> you put it in your shopping cart on your phone. Uh, but, I mean... It was really, I gotta say, it was really nice. Huh. Uh, the, like the brands and everything they had, the quality was really nice, but their shopping carts had like these LCD screens on them. It's like literally like a tablet on the cart. You could scroll. No, through. when you put stuff in, did it automatically <laughs> scan it? Scan it and put it in like it had like RFID tags or so something on it? I think that was the case, but we didn't have one. Oh, okay. But we hit, we didn't see them when we first walked in, but as we we're walking around the store, I was like, why does that guy's cart have like a a bright light coming off? Of it? It's a screen. <laughs> Screens on the cart. I thought that was crazy. Hmm. I mean, they're they're really nice carts too, from what it looked like. But People watching movies and stuff. Maybe <laughs> maybe they give you Prime Video or something. You're scrolling maybe, through. Yeah, maybe that's you're it. shopping. But no, I mean, like there so was been a terminal list while I'm getting my groceries. Yeah, there was a decent <laughs> amount of people in there, but it's like the the carts. Like I never felt cramped, but the carts was like I don't know. That's I don't know how I feel about it. Like it's kind of cool in one way, but in another way, it's like, do we need screens on our shopping carts? But I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just can't imagine seeing that like around here. No, yeah. I don't. I couldn't either. <clears throat> and that's actually it's putting the shopping carts away. I have my chickens do it. <laughs> <laughs> they push it to the corral, and jump in the back seat. Here and we they go. Probably get ran over by a car on the way back. <laughs> Stop by not an, those chickens. Stop by an elephant while. They... <laughs> yeah. Get in, everybody. We're heading to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> no, Greg's overran by chickens. <laughs> They're driving my car. <laughs> you see Greg's hand up in the air. There's the last chicken stomping him into the ground. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, no. Yeah. All right. Well, let's head to the bathroom. <laughs> my chickens don't go there with me. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> All right. I got a couple things. I saw this. This is an old advertisement, but it caught my eye because I'm like, this is horrible. Oh. First of all, we've got, and we've talked about shower rooms before, like in, in high school and sports teams, you know, you go in, they have the shower in the military. They have the big open shower. Anytime there's a shower room, that is never a good situation. <laughs> no, it's not. If you got a room for the showers, I think. Like, not a shower stall. It's a shower room. Now, when I <coughs> when I was in the uh, basic training and stuff, we had the shower room, but they had the showers were like a big. We had a big open bay, completely open, and you had shower heads along two walls. Okay, and that's so you kind of went in. One great didn't like it, but it's what it was. So you stood there. Yeah, you you're in and out. Go go go. You look at the wall. Nothing and but the wall. That's it. <laughs> yeah. 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 This, and I had seen these. I think uh, the old gym at our high school had these. They had this for a shower. It says you're going to save money, no. okay? It's like a column or a tower. <clears throat> it's the Bradley Group Shower. It says we I think put, one of my schools had those. Our our high school did. We put two, three, four, five, even six shower heads together on one fixture. Result. Bradley serve more students comfortably and less space than ordinary showers. And the picture shows four dudes like this looks like what from the 19 mid 60s something. They look like they're having way too much they fun. They are having way too much fun. They're laughing, they're smiling. One guy's rubbing his uh shampoo into his hair, you know, and the shower's coming at, like they're way too close one, all right? Two, you're standing. I don't want to be that close to another guy when I'm taking a shower. I don't want to be sitting. And you got to stare at each other because it's like the showers. Everybody's looking in yeah. on the tower. Yeah. That is a horrible design. I, I, I just, we had this. I never took a shower in after PE class in high school because I'm like, I am not, I'm not going in there. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't, I can't do. But I wanted to point out though, too, in the picture, and we'll put this out there. 
They are having way too much fun. They are having a good time. I've never had that much fun in a shower. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say. I mean, they're, they're laughing and joking and it's like, listen. You know what kind of reminds me of? The pole in the middle and everyone stands around it is, uh, what's that game on the playground? Like the tether ball? You know, we all have the, uh, you're all looking, standing at the, the one pole in the middle. Maybe that's what this is called. The tether ball. Maybe. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I mean, you I can don't get maybe. a good game going in here with that. I don't want to get a good game going. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Want, I don't want to be ducking and <laughs> moving, trying not to get hit by stuff. <laughs> I Your <don't>. serve. <laughs> yeah. Please don't jump. <laughs> don't be slapping at things. I did oh, have a wait. question though. Oh, I was like, how many shower beers would it take, Mike? <laughs> How many would it take? Do they have a holder on there for them? Uh, it's going to take more than I can drink. That's, that's, that was my thought as well. That's just, yeah. If I had the situation, I'm not going to be in there long enough to have a, to even tell a joke. It's in it. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't. They should it. have the top on it spin around like a car wash. So the first spigot, <laughs> the first spigot soap and then the next one comes around and it's like a shampoo and then the next one. <laughs> then a dryer. <laughs> Just blowing you out like Ooh. these brushes are going. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah, no, no. All right. Now nah. the second thing I want to talk. To, this is on a text your brother sent. All oh, you were on it. Oh yeah. I knew we'd get it eventually. Oh right, that, that one, text. Yeah. This is about. They have a a toilet <laughs> golf set. <laughs> It looks like a little mat you put around your toilet, and it's got a little hole with a flag out of it, and you can you can practice your golf while you're in on the toilet. So I don't know if you want to say, hey, I'm going to grab my putter and go to the bathroom. Like, why don't you wait till you're in the bathroom to grab your putter, if you would? I don't, I don't know. Are you in the bathroom long enough to be, I'm going to go play nine holes. Like, oh. <laughs> I don't want you in the bathroom that long. You're yeah. tying up a, a, a toilet here that somebody may need, and I don't want you doing like, like, Listen, I gotta, I gotta play through. Hang on. <laughs> you're outside the bathroom. You're four. Yeah. yeah. What's he getting? <laughs> and does it help? Well, if he's in that shower with the four guys, well, I, oh, no. I really don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want anybody grabbing putters in there no. either? <laughs> we got this one's the driver. That's right. <laughs> No, you need to choke up a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I think you need to just, we need to leave. Here, let me, let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> it's your grip. Your grip is all wrong. And your stance. Spread your legs. Like, what? listen, I need out of this bathroom. This is my nightmare. <laughs> and does this really help your golf game? Greg's up on the green. I put practice. Somebody squats down. What are you doing? <laughs> this is how I putt. <laughs> He's got a one foot putter. Oh, there we go. I put my spikes on before I go in there. <laughs> clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Try the golf cart to the bathroom. <laughs> Stay on the sand trap. <laughs> got to watch the sand trap. Oh, he went into the water. <laughs> I like in the uh, features. It says, add a second hold to your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta build the front nine in there. I didn't even see that. Yeah. <laughs> and practice your strokes for birdie or eagle. I, I don't want that either. <laughs> I grab my putter. Uh, I'm trying to knock a couple strokes off in the bathroom here. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's terrible. You walk out with your scorecard. Your wife's like, "How'd you do today?" <laughs> <laughs> Can you sign this for me? I need somebody to sign it. So yeah. what I did, uh, <laughs> I'm bogey today. I, oh, one over, I off today. Just I don't know. <laughs> Coming this little bitty, too many little strokes. bitty golf putters are broken in there. You snap it, throw it down. Yeah. I was, I'm gonna have to take some lessons. Uh, <laughs> get a caddy, Greg. I would recommend going with the sand wedge on this. <laughs> you're you're on the shag rug. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just put it in the hole. <laughs> like, what you watching me? Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> you like, close the door! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is insane. It comes, it's okay. Here's what it comes with. One putting green, two golf balls, 
one cup and flag, a putter, and a do not disturb door hanger. <laughs> do you get the commentators too? Yeah. Oh, look, he's in the gallery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. Looks like Greg's got about a two foot lie here it's going down <laughs> into the left. He's oh, he's off in the bunker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to watch that tile. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Well, Bloody that's. golf. Okay. That's insane. All right. The last one I have here. This is actually a commercial. I'm going to play the commercial. I think it's about 15 seconds. Oh, I'm going to attempt to play the commercial. Yeah. It's about 15 seconds for Cottonelle. Cottonelle toilet paper. I have seen this multiple times over the last couple of weeks. Yep. Different stations like Nickelodeon at night when they're playing Friends reruns on news stations, everything. I'm just going to play it and then we can discuss. Down there, care with Cottonelle. Because the candles are lit and the playlist is fire. But before it goes down, clean yourself up with strong cleaning ripples that remove more at once. And rolls that last four times longer to leave you feeling amazing. Down there, care with Cottonelle. I like all the popping sound. Yeah, okay. So it's got a couple, like on a couch, like they're on a date. <laughs> like, I don't think, I don't think of, of toilet paper at that point. And the name of the commercial is Date Night Value Cottonelle Toilet Paper. <laughs> what is I, I don't need I guess I probably shouldn't ask what's happening that you would need toilet paper, but I just I don't I don't I've never considered that an essential date. That's not my date kit. Maybe it maybe it should be. I don't know. Maybe he's heading in to play a few rounds of potty <laughs> golf. <laughs> maybe it is. <laughs> See, the toilet paper could be the score sheet. <laughs> or there's five guys in a tower shower in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 maybe that is what it's for. I don't know. We're living in a new strange world. I don't know what's happening anymore. Yeah. Why do we have commercials like this? I don't understand. I don't want to know. I like it better when I was ignorant and blissful. That's like the stupid bears with their shiny hineys. I'd rather see the shiny hiney bears, though, than the, the date night toilet paper. I, the bears are just annoying. This is creepy. So is date night toilet paper, like, scented? or? Is... I, I don't know. You have to light a candle before you use it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, yeah, our commercials are getting way too public with our privates. And- <laughs> Yes, they are. Our yeah. privates are way too public. I agree yes. with you, Greg. <laughs> Our privates need to go back to private. Yes, let's stick to privacy. Well, it's, so what have we done? We've done food delivery, right? Or uh, what was that? The food service kits, right? Yeah. Because, you know, you had to be aware of what you were eating. Yeah. So you have to, you know, have that, and then you combine it with a toilet paper. Yeah. It's like, man, it's coming from everywhere. It is. It's 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 just disturbing. I'm, I'm not a fan. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I have, this is... We're going to call this Unique Words for Common Things. And I'm going to, I'll probably butcher some of these pronunciations. I'm going to try. But it was just a quick little article I found when I was on vacation, just piddling around. And uh, I'm going to read you guys a couple, I don't know, five, eight or nine words. Okay. Maybe seven. <laughs> the over-under is at six. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how, how we get for those of you at home keeping track. Yes, if you're keeping a tally. Okay. So the first one, it says... Dactillion. 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 Yep. Strangely enough, I feel like I've heard this word before. Dactillion. And this is a common... Yeah. We all have two of them. Ooh, a hint. We all have two dactillions. That makes it sound like it's part of our body. Uh, That's what I was thinking. It could be. Ears. Hmm. Two of them. I'll say feet. No. Lungs. It's the tip of the middle finger. Oh. Oh. That's just dac- the middle? Just the middle. So do the other ones have different names? It doesn't tell me that. It just says dactylion is the, is what they call the tip of the middle finger. I feel like I've heard that before hmm. somewhere. Dactylion. I lopped off my dactylion with a knife. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> yes. Okay, this one, and Greg, oh I think you have heard of this one before. 
Mm. And I'm going to try to pronounce it, but it's Keck. Okay. Keck or Hafiophobia. Keck or Hafiophobia. And it's spelled K-A-K-O-R-R-H-A-P-H-I-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. You may have heard of that, but I'm almost positive Greg has. Wow. So it's a phobia, right? It's yeah. A fear or something. <clears throat> Digging from my dictionary, immense dictionary of fears. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> a cack phobia? Cack or halfia phobia. Cack or phobia. I, I, I was trying to find some place that would um, announce it for us. And I didn't really find one. So what odd fear could that be? Uh, it's not really I would say a lot of people right now have this in this in this time we're in. There's a lot of people that have this. Fear of the government. <laughs> I'm sticking with that. Fear of the government. Or apocalypse. Um <laughs> I don't know. Uh, fear of not being able to retire. Those I've got that. Good. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think. Of I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> All right. Kaka. Yeah. Kaka. <laughs> Kaka. Happy. I phobia. That's how it was pronounced. They said. It is the fear of everything. Ah. Oh. And I believe... I think we did talk about well, that. Or? I believe in the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Or is it... No, not the Great Pumpkin. It's the Christmas one when he goes... Charlie Brown goes and talks to Lucy. And she yeah. says, what do you fit? And she says that. And he goes, what's that? The fear of everything. And yeah. he goes, that's it. So I could be butchering the name. But that's <clears throat> Kecker, Kecker Hefiophobia. Now that you say that, that seems familiar. So there we go. Because I love my... Peanuts holiday. Yes. Uh, All shows. right. Peen. Peen. P e e n. Peen. I've heard that word before. I've heard preen too. Well, this is peen. This... Sounds odd. <laughs> yeah. Peen. Suspect. Peen. Well, I've... P e e n. It's uh. Isn't it like a rounded edge of a hammer? It's a good, good um, guess. Could be right. Could be wrong. I'm, I've got to be. I think I'm, I think I'm close. Um, peen, peen, peen. Um, I might go right along with preen. Vanity. The part of a hammer head oh. that you do not use for hammering, okay, which like is usually ball curved hammer. or spherical. That's what, I, that's yeah. what I was yeah. thinking. I couldn't remember if that was a spelling for that, so I was like, eh. What is that? What did you say? P-E-E-N. P-E-E-N, okay. yeah. Yeah. All right, the next one. Tittle. <laughs> Tittle. <laughs> uh, I, I, this has to do with... Uh, Words and letters. Oh, I know. It's the little flag off of a le- like a, a letter. I believe, like the little. It's the smallest part. Yeah, oh, it's like a, I'm calling it. Like, I don't know if that's going to be the, the exact definition, but I'm thinking it's like the little. Is that it? I've heard this one before. Yeah, it's the smallest part of a letter. I'm thinking it's like the little. Yeah, I think it's like. like Are you talking about like an A, like the end of an A? Yeah, that like curl. Yeah, something like that. That's my guess. I don't know. Um, So it has to do with words and letters. Yeah, I'm going to say it's the dots of an I or something or a J. The dot that appears above the letter I and J when they're written in lower K. Oh, wow. Mike pulls one out at the last second. Literally out of nowhere. The last second. All right. I got one here. I'm going to let it try to pronounce it. So (laughs) maybe. Sithurism. 
Sithiri- Sithir- I can't even say it. Sithirism. 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 And that's P-S-I-T-H-U-R-I-S-M. Sounds kind of cultish. It's an ism. Well, yeah. Um, there will be a lot of this going on for the next, say, three months. Could bring back some good memories of when you were a kid or some horrible memories. I don't know. For the next three months? Yeah, about about that. It, that that would be the prime prime time for this. So the, it could happen before and after that, but I'd say right now we're coming into the heart of when this is most common for us in this part of the country. So, Sithurism. before winter. Yeah, Sithurism. <clears throat> Sithurism. Um, Sithurism. All right, what do we got? Um, I don't know. Do you have it? I mean, I'm going to say, uh, you know, changing of the season. I don't know. Like going the next the fall, three months. But... Yeah. Um, Seasonal changes, I guess. I, that's what I'll go with, I suppose. Um, Shortened days. It's kind of the same thing. Well, yeah. I kind of miss it. It can happen. I, uh, now that I read it, it can happen in the summer as well. So, but it, <laughs> it's the sound of leaves rustling on trees or bushes oh. as they're disturbed by the wind. Yeah. I, 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 I was thinking, I've I didn't see that, that on trees. I just saw it from trees or bushes. So, hmm. okay. I had no clue there was a name for that. I, I didn't know. either. There's a name for everything. Okay. So we are going to go. The last two are just some kind of fun ones. So we'll. <laughs> yeah. Cause those weren't any fun. Well, these might be a little more fun. <laughs> we are going to go <clears throat> Weenus. Oh, okay. Yeah. W E N I S. Do you know what this one yeah, is? Okay. Yeah. It hurts if you hit your weenus. I will say that. <laughs> it is very painful. I feel like I've heard this, but I don't, I've hit I my weenus on a table. What? I've hit my weenus on the corner of a wall. <laughs> Heck, mine's hanging out there right now. <laughs> it is. I got it slammed in a Put door. Put that away. <laughs> I got it slammed in a door. It really hurt. Your pinky toe. I... It's the skin on your oh, left on elbow. Your left yeah, elbow. The tip of your elbow or the skin on your uh, on your elbow. So. I've always heard left elbow. This says on your, your elbow. I was not a weenus. So. <laughs> I've, I've heard left. Like It seemed oddly specific. Yeah, this, this just said elbows, okay. but I, you could be mm-hmm. correct. Okay. You leftist. So be careful. <laughs> That's you know, what I've heard some people that. wear protection to protect their weenus. <laughs> Is so, it a cup? <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> Elbow pads. <laughs> okay. The last one, flagina. <laughs> what? I've heard this one too. It's like I can't, but they don't. The men, what there was does it not. I've to pinched me. my flagina, and it <laughs> is very painful. You do not want to pinch your flagina. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> If you're not careful, you can even smash your vagina with your weenus. <laughs> you can. <laughs> it's, it, it is possible. <laughs> Try to think what you. <laughs> what you, you have to be careful. Would it be easy to do? It could be. It could be. Not like super easy, but I mean, it, it's very doable. <laughs> You got anything, Mike? I, I, I don't know. Uh, let's say maybe it's something between, like, the skin between your fingers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking on the hand. Or, or your thumb, maybe. Your thumb and your pointer finger, or index finger. Okay, he's saying that. I'll say... And for those of you not here, Mike is grabbing his vagina right now as he says it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must be right, then, if he's grabbing it. If, if that is correct, he would be. Yes. All right, he said that, so I'll say the awkward piece of skin between your thumb and okay. pointer ah, finger. Yeah. So if you had your hand down and put your elbow up like that, you could, you could, you could, put, you could pinch it, smash your vagina with, with your, your weenus. <laughs> so you be careful. These are the kind well, of that's why you don't want to just be flinging your weenus around no, like that. I mean, you, you can't. <laughs> I, I know people who just like, especially like basketball, they're fling, flailing their weenus left and right. You're going to put somebody's eye out with it. You have to be extremely careful. 
<laughs> now, look, we exist for if, if for no other reason than to bring educational information <laughs> like this to the masses. Yeah, I yeah. feel enlightened. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the last thing I had. I don't know. Did you guys have anything no, else? No, I think anything that's all. I think ending on the weenus is a good way to go out. <laughs> if I've heard that once, I've heard it a hundred times. <laughs> the best way to end any day is the <laughs> on your weenus. So, oh, my gosh. All right. Well, hey, everybody, thank you for tuning in, for listening, and uh, relax. Laugh a little bit. Life is short. Don't get too upset about things. And uh, we hope you're tuning in in seven days. And until then, see ya. Later. Peace. Well, that wraps up another episode. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to subscribe. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.